Now what we'll do is we will define the credit control area. What we have to define? We have to define the credit control area. For that, what we have to do is, yes, we'll click on the icon next to credit control area. Done? Yes. Here, now click on the new entries to create the new credit control area. Now we'll just give the credit control area as ABCA. Okay, we'll just give the credit control area as ABCA and I'll give the currency as INR and assign the credit limit. Yeah, and assign the credit limit. Done? Normally, this credit limit and the credit control area is more of a CPSD module. They have the separate topic as credit management where they create the credit control area. Since we have now started to learn the FI module, to complete the organizational units related to SAP FI and to post the document successfully, what we are doing here is we are just assigning a company code to credit control area. That's why we are just defining here. Got it? The values of risk category and rep group will be defined by the SAP SD consultants. So, for now, we'll just leave it as blank. Okay, we'll just leave it as blank. Now what we have to do is we have to save it. For that what we have to do we just have to click on the save button. Yes click on the save button. Now I'll use the same transport request which I created previously. You remember right I just created a transport request so I'll be using the same transport request which I created previously. SAP do not have any rules about using separate transport request for each window. It is completely based on company's requirement and user preference. So I'll use the same TR and I'll just click OK. OK, I'll be using the same TR and I'll be clicking OK. Now what we have got? Yes, our data will be saved. If you observe here, the description field is inactive. To fill the description, what you have to do is after saving, you just have to click on the back button. OK, you just have to click on the back button. Now you can fill in the description for your newly created credit control area and just you have to save it. To save again click on the save button. After defining the credit control area we create the company code. What we do? We create the company code. Now using the back button what I'll do I'll just come back. I'll just click on this back button and I came back to our previous configuration screen.